Hello Publicity fans, this is Mark from My Size Hedge Fund, back with the decklist of the week, but this time we're playing the second version of it which uses Haley. The decklist author Mr. Hudson says that this is probably a better one, you can get out your pieces quicker, and you're not as screwed as you would be with Exile, which if you'd watched the previous game, we got a whopping one trigger off. Of course, if I'd played it slightly better, been smart smarter about my installs, uh, I could have done more with it earlier. Uh, the big main switch is that it uses Chameleon as its sentry breaker. Uh, with LLDS processor, you're bumping up the strength quite significantly. And you also have Black Orchestra instead of the Cyber Cipher, which means you're not as screwed if they don't install barriers. And it also means you, you, be, you can be a bit more versatile about where you run when they put down uh, code gates. Uh, but the basic engine is still the same. You're still using Patron for draw. Aesop's Pawn Shop is there. You have the bits and pieces to make it cheaper and more profitable to install programs. So you're still looking to sell off your paper clips and buy them back. Aesop's really needs a better business model. Anyway, let's see how we get on with the second version of this deck. Uh, if you want to see the Exile version, check out Tuesday's game. We find ourselves up against Personal Evolution and it's almost like our opponent knows exactly the deck we were playing and what causes it issues. Uh, if you've read the description, it is damage that does the that hurts this deck, does the damage. Blah. Uh, opening hand. We can get out our paperclip or black orchestra quite quickly with patron for draw, but we don't have any other money. So, gonna pitch it back. Hopefully find an actual combo piece sooner rather than later. Paperclip straight away is good. Uh, this could work as well. Chameleon, hopefully we can keep, <laughs> but the damage uh, could hurt. And RDI as well. We don't want to go too hard on our multi-axis with uh, all that Jinteki is capable of. So let's see if we can get some good things out. A second resource would be nice. This works as well, actually. Uh, so we can draw, draw, do this, and do this. And we can draw one more and pitch the paperclip. And now we're looking for... Mm, wait, which do we want to keep? Um, we can pitch the Atman. No, let's get rid of paperclip for the moment. Hopefully they're not playing our clock down, but in PE it's always quite likely. So this may have been a tester to see if we're willing to run things. It could also be an agenda that they want to score later in the game. Um, that's fine, I think. I think we check server two. Mm, let's put down the clone ship first. Just in case things go horribly, horribly wrong. We do need to be able to get out a chameleon at some point in time. And sure enough, it is a snare. So we lose the Atman and two chameleons. So a clone chip is going to come in handy. And there goes our lockdown, and we can lose our chameleon. And now we're in trouble. Uh, There's a lot of expensive hardware for us here. So that hurt. That really, really hurt. And they are getting an agenda out as well. Good old Gila hands. So we are very much on the back foot, but we kind of expected that as soon as we saw what we were up against. And at the moment, we are struggling to find our bits and pieces that we need. Aesop's is definitely what we want to find as soon as possible. Uh, we could diesel here. And we have enough to drop a couple of things anyway, at least. So, we'll get down another technical rider. And let's go with the LLDS for the moment. Give it the orchestra.
And we're kind of swinging for the fences. We're broke. We've lost some important bits and pieces. And we are... Yeah. No ASFs yet either. And if we want to run into this, it could cause us issues. Toolbox is a very expensive program to be installing. Um, or a very expensive piece of hardware, I should say. I suppose we can install this. Don't love it. Don't love it. Well, at least we have a levy. Uh, we won't install anything. Just gain a credit. I think we pitched the sports hopper. We don't need the link. It's expensive for the drawability. And they're getting out another agenda. We need to start the pressure. Oh dear. Well, I think that's as good as gone then for us. Yeah, we've lost our only paperclip, our only black orchestra, Atman. And unless we get incredibly lucky, I don't think there's much we can do. So let's get into another game. Uh, one with without damage, hopefully. And preferably without arc lockdown as well. So we're up against Argus again. Possibly a damage dealer. We do have employee strike, of course, so that helps. Uh, the opening is kind of a weird one. We have plenty of money, but again, we don't have the engine. So I'm going to throw it back. And well, we can we can break code gates for days. Uh, we just have to find hmm, presumably price X. So let's try and find good things. This is pretty good. So we can get this installed. We can install SMC on top of this. Get out some money, and we can. Draw one more, get rid of Black Orchestra. And our hand is going to be amazing for multiple installs. So they get a score right off the bat, false lead, which means we have to be a lot more careful about when and where we run. We can run first click, or we can run third click. Uh, running and scoring on second click, not so good for us. Patron is great. Uh, unfortunately, not an ASOPS to back it up. Uh, so we can install both clone chips. And we can install Patron. And we should be able to get some joy out of this. So we'll run archives just for the draw and this is going to be very very helpful as well but unfortunately we are a bit we're a bit tapped at the moment and we could use more economy. If we can find our ASOPs, we'll be in a much better place. They're just money up. So unfortunately we do have to worry about uh, them just trying to draw us into making a poorly timed or a bad run. But at the moment, things are going kind of okay. If we could find our ASAPs, uh, all will be right with the world. Because then we can SMC. <laughs> oh dear, well, we could be in a lot of trouble here. So, tagged up the wazoo. They are removing from the game, so there's only so many clicks we have. 
And do we assume they're playing boom? We do, in which case uh, this is a really nice combo. So we can get down to three tags, which doesn't do much for us. What else could we do? We need to get our sports offers online. But we may ha not have the time for this. Or if we could find chameleons. Nope, unfortunately not. So, instead we are going to... Uh, take this install cache. And get plenty of money. And then probably die. Perhaps we should run HQ and try to snipe it. Uh, that was probably the wiser choice, although Prysec probably waiting here for us as well. So this deck does not do well with damage. <laughs> it doesn't deal well with tags. But now it's over to you. Can you win a game with this deck? Please let me know in the comments and come over to Ice Ice Hedge Fund for more videos from me. Hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.